Hello everyone, this is Wags from Eagle Dynamics, and today we're going to take a look at a couple of navigation systems in the Hornet. Uh, we're going to take a look at the ADF, or the Automatic Direction Finder, as well as the TACAN, or the Tactical Air Navigation System. In a later video, we'll take a look at other uh, navigation systems, like the Waypoint System. Uh, but for today, let's start with the ADF, and the ADF is probably one of the oldest, but also most simple navigation systems out there, and all it's really doing is using one of the two radios in the Hornet to home in bearing wise towards a ground beacon. And to do so, we're first going to set one of the two radios to the uh, manual setting. In this case, I'll set uh, COM1 to M here. And then I'm going to set the ADS switch to either COM1 or COM2, in this case, COM1. And now on the scratch pad, I'm going to go ahead and clear it. And now I'm going to enter the ADF uh, frequency, 11. Three six zero zero, and then enter. And then after a second, it will pop in. And this is indicated by the small circle on the outside of the compass rose. And like I said, it's going to be giving us bearing information towards that beacon. And you can also hear the code there, but it's not going to give us actually any range or DME information. So it's pretty simple, as you can see. So let's take a look at TACAN now. And TACAN is definitely a bit more useful. And we're going to do so by first selecting a TACAN on the DDI, and then TACAN here on the USC. Uh, upon doing that, we see we have three different TACAN options here. Uh, we have Transmit Receive, which will provide us bearing and range information to the TACAN uh, station. Uh, we have Receive, which will give us only uh, bearing information. And then we have the air-to-air -air mode, uh, which, as you might imagine, is only for other aircraft, like a tanker. And it will give us only range information. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to select uh, Transmit Receive. And uh, I'll go ahead and turn the system on. I'll uh, clear it out. And in this case, we're going to go ahead and uh, select Sanaki, which is on 31 X-Ray. And Enter. Now, once selected, let's take a look here on the uh, DDI. In the corner, we see we have a bearing of 274, a range of about 11.3 nautical miles. Uh, minute, uh, time to go is 1 minute 17 seconds and the three digit code. Uh, inside we have the actual icon of uh, for the TACAN station. Let's zoom in a little bit. And the T with the, around, uh, with the tr triangle around it is our bearing with the tail on the other end. Now up here on the HUD we have the distance and the code to go. Now pressing the course switch, we can put a course uh, based on that station. In this case, I want to go 174. Actually, sorry, 274. Now you can see we have a course line towards that tack end station. And then up on the HUD, we also see the arrow and the two dots indicates how far we're off that course line. Uh, the first dot is 4 degrees, and the second dot is 8 degrees. And the TACAN is going to be very useful for lining up your approach to a runway, and also certainly for the aircraft carrier later on. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, DDI again. And with the uh, load button, we can have different uh, ways to place the data on the DDI. Uh, first we have track up, uh, we can go north up, we can decenter it, and we can also go ahead and go to the data page and select TACAN. And using the up and down arrows, we can select all the different TACAN stations stored in the database. And we can go ahead and uh, select one, go to the USC, and if we want to, we can actually manually uh, adjust its geographic position, its elevation, as well as, as its uh, magnetic variance. We'll go back to SSI, HSI. And also you may be hearing the uh, TACAN Morse. At any point, we can come down here to the volume panel and we can uh, adjust that. So that's a little overview of how you navigate using the ADF as well as the TACAN. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next time. Thanks.